say a regular Mexican kid with some gifts that helped me to become a BYU student and then to be successful compared with what I was. Since its founding in 1986, the Cardin International Sponsorship Program has helped nearly 150 Latter-day Saint students earn graduate degrees at Brigham Young University. CIS students come from Africa, Asia, Europe, Latin America, and the Pacific Islands. While studying business and management, they gain leadership experience that will help build the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in their local countries. My mother, she worked at home when she became a widower uh, as a dressmaker. And sometimes we had to wait until somebody came, you know, to pay for one dress, to eat. After I, gradua I graduated from high school here, I started uh, attending the University of Mexico where I got into chemical engineering. After one year of studying chemical engineering, I decided to go on a mission. So I served a mission in Mexico, in Veracruz, Mexico, in the Mexico Veracruz mission. So I was a bishop, I had to work, I had to attend the university, plus you know, all of the things that we have to do with the family. Uh, it was a real hard time for me. They said, hey, there are some scholarships in, in Provo to get an MBA degree from BYU. And if you are a return missionary, you are married, you are willing to come back to your country and live within a very limited budget, you will be selected to attend BYU and be helped in this way. During my job search at BYU, I sent my resume and a cover letter to Otis Elevator in Farmington, Connecticut, in the United States. During the following months, we were in contact, and fi finally they hired me when I graduated as quality manager for the Mexican company. After a few months, the managing director here asked me to take over the human resources area. Afterwards, he sent me to different operations in the world where I gained a lot more experience and he asked me to take over the operations management in the company in Mexico. Suddenly, my boss, Roberto Castro, who was the one who trusted me in this way, passed away. So one week later, they called me as the managing director for Mexico. Within the same week, when I was called as managing director for Otis Mexico, I was called as a stake president for the stake in Pachuca. I had to leave in the room the general, to the general authority and my, my two counselors that Sunday when I was called as a stake president to fly to Connecticut. I didn't care, quote, uh -huh. I didn't care about the results. I cared about the people and tried to unify the, their efforts to become better as a team. And this gave as a result something that for me is one of my best accomplishments in my life because the company was classified when I took over as managing director, was classified as the 36th in the world. And within four years, it was in sixth place in the world. 
1999, I gave a clock to every employee which said, 1999, we will become number one in the world. And I was interviewed, but some of the administrators from Spain, in Call, they called me on the phone and said, Carlos, what are you doing in Mexico? Something different is happening. I told this director from Spain, hey, what I am doing is I'm working with these Mexicans. What I learned at the Marriott School was to become a leader, to help people to excel, because everything that you do in a company is done by the people. If you can bring all these people together to do something for which you give them some vision, and they accept your idea, then you can accomplish whatever you want. That's the way it works. You know, I gave them elements. I gave them training. I opened the financial statements to them. I said, hey, we are in this position now. We are in 36th place. We are very bad, in a bad shape as a company. We need to do this, this, and this. And the experts here, the operations experts, the installations experts, the service experts, helped me to see what had to be done. So I put together all of these plans and showed them to, the, to, the, to all of the workers in Mexico. We are about 60 miles to the north of Mexico City here. And this piece of land was bought in 1999 by me and my family uh, as part of our savings. Uh, Given my performance at Otis Elevator, I received annually some bonuses, substantial bonuses, which I wanted to save. So uh, we decided to invest in uh, this piece of land. My wife is from here. We are happy to, uh, to have our home here. We were happy for the last 11 years when we lived here. The most important thing that I learned at BYU was that if you act ethically in your work and in all your dealings with people, additionally to the financial and economical issues that we learned there, the discussion of different cases which develop your way of thinking, additionally to all of that, the way in which you act with people and you lead people to do something outstanding is what helped me the most to become what I am now. It is not probably much what I have accomplished compared to other people, but to what I was before, it is thousands of times more. Can you imagine? When I was a kid, I would, I would have never thought about going to study to the United States. Never. And now, after graduation from BYU, I have the possibility of sending my daughter to BYU Hawaii with my own resources because I had the possibility of saving enough money to do that. And they will start from, a, you know, one million steps above. Sorry. Sorry. 
I am a product of the church educational system and BYU.